こんにちは皆さんお元気ですか Hello, how are you? This video is number 18 of the number videos. We are going to learn about zero and also about the decimals. In Japanese, we've got two ways to say zero. One is lei, the other one is zero. And depends on the circumstance, we use zero or lei. You say zero, and this is zero. So, this zero comes from the English word zero. But this concept was born in, in India in the 5th century. And this concept went to Europe. So, this is why you say zero from zero. Then we say zero. After this zero concept arrived in China, and they called lei. So, we Japanese people, we've got two. Influences one from China and using lei, the other one from the, the European countries, Occidental countries, we say zero. Lei and zero meaning zero, but the difference is that this lei, this country comes from its drizzling. So light rain, this is lei. So it means there's a little bit of rain, but zero. It means nothing, nothing, nothing exists. So, in the weather forecast, when they say the chance of rain of today is zero percent, we say lei percento. We don't use zero because in Japan, for example, only four percent, then you can say lei percento. It's so near to the number zero, and but still, it might be one percent, not exactly. Nothing. So we say lei percento. When we say the number of the injured is zero, then we also use zero because it means there was no injured, anyone, no one. Now I'm going to explain in more detail. Tenki yoho, this is weather forecast. Tenki, this is weather. Yoho, this is forecast because yo, it means. Before and this country, ho, it means to inform, inform before. Weather forecast, tenki yoho. Chance of rain, we say, kosui kakuritsu. This kanji, ko, it comes from the furimas. Ame ga furimas, it rains. Yuki ga furimas, it snows. And the second one, sui, this is water. So the water. The, the, mm, mm, In this case, the, the water falls down. And kakuritsu, this is ratio of the probability. So it means kosui kakuritsu, the chance of rain. In Japan, this kosui kakuritsu is divided in each 10%. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50. So if this is below 10%, and if it is 5%, and they say, 10% of kosui kakuritsu. But if it is below 4%, 4%, 3%, 2%, 1%, and we, we don't say 10%, and, but we say with the meaning of zero, but in this case we say lei, lei percento. Kosui kakuritsu wa lei percento desu. Chance of rain is 0%. Lei percento. When the, in exam, Point is zero, then we don't say zero ten. Well, ten, this means point. In this case, we say lei ten. Lei ten, zero point. Dead people was zero. And we say shibosha, this is dead. Or oh, the dead people. Shibosha. Shi, this comes from the noun, the death. Shibo, shibo shimas, to die. Sha, here it means the person. So, shibosha is the dead. So, dead was zero. Then we say also, shibosha zero. Shibosha zero. Zero because no one, no one, no number. Zero. I want you to learn decimals. We say, shosu. And this kanji, sho, it is chisai, small. And su, it comes from suji, number. Or kazu, or number. Shosu, it means small number. And both shosu, in English, this is decimal. And shosu, ten, 
Ten is the point. So the shosu ten, decimal point. When we say about the decimal numbers, we always say after this point, one by one. Well, what means? The first one, you say 0 0.5, and we say leiten go. Leiten go. And the next one, you say 0 0.5. 14, right? 14, but we don't say 14. We say 0.14. And in this case, we say 0.14.123. In this case, 3.14.124. I told you, after this point, we say one by one the numbers. But before the point, no, it is the, the, the normal, normal numbers. For example, this one, 25.5, we say, 25.5, the next, 38.7, and this one, you say, 20.62, right? But we don't say 62 here. We say 6 and after 2. It means 20.62.62.62.62. In this case, 14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.14.01.
How to read these numbers in Japanese? Number one, 0.01 or 0.01. Second, 2番目 0.309. 0.309. And the third, 13.008. 8. Number four, 145.27. The last three questions, and these are the dictation, so you must write them in Japanese. And after that, please answer these questions. 5番目、今日の気温は何度ですか今日の気温は何度ですか今日の今日の気温は気温は何度ですか何度ですか今日の気温は何度ですか ?6 番目あなたの体温は何度ですかあなたの体温は何ですかあなたのあなたの体温は何度ですかあなたの体温は何度ですか ?7 番目最後ですあなたのうちの冷凍庫は何度ですかあなたのうちの冷凍庫は何度ですかあなたのあなたのうちのうちの冷凍庫は何度ですか何度ですかあなたのうちの冷凍庫は何度ですか ?I hope you could learn very well about the zero and the decimals.If you liked it, please give me like and if you can share my videos with your friends, that will help me a lot.If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do it.Now listen to me in Japanese. いかがでしたか今日は零とゼロの違い。使いい方の違いを説明しましまたそれから小数の数字も勉強しました多分あなたの国と言い方が違うのでちょっと難しかったかもしれませんがでも日本語の小数は簡単だと思いますこのビデオが気に入ってくださったら是非いいねボタンそして私のうんうこのチャンネルにまだ登録なさっていなかったら是非なさってくださいそして私のビデオをお友達に紹介していただけたらとてもとても助かります。ぜひお願いいたします。ではまた次のビデオでお会いしましょう。じゃあねバイバイ。